Hey, welcome to Craft Central Designs. My name is Dwyn. I am sharing with you today a quick and easy project, a sea urchin pillar candle holder. This is a beautiful piece to embellish a coastal theme tablescape. This pillar candle holder is made with beautiful sea urchin shells. These are easily attainable on Amazon. Okay, let's get busy making this lovely pillar candle holder. Let's look at the items that we will need for this project. I ordered these sea urchin uh, shells on Amazon. I will list the Amazon store in the description box. For this each a pillar candle holder, you'll need two sea urchin shells. They're all comparable in size, the, the ones that come in the box. I chose to use a little bit lighter shade of a, the sea urchin shell, kind of a creamy off-white, and a little bit of a taupe color. That it was pretty to have a color variance uh, in that candle holder. You'll also need some wood rounds, a one and a half inch wood round and a one inch wood round. I get those wood rounds on Amazon. And the pillar candle, you could pick that up anywhere. I believe I got mine at Walmart. Now I have this cording, which I contemplated using it to uh, put around the opening there on the top. But I ended up not, not doing that. But I did put a strip of it uh, around the um, piece there in the seam where the two shells come together. And my thought process was that it would provide a, um, a good um, material for the little tiny shells to adhere to when I uh, go to put this seashells around the the seam in between the two shells. Um, it's a step that you can do or not do. I think that those shells will still adhere fine even if you don't put the cord around it. But I did do that and I found that um, it all worked out well in the end. Okay, so I contemplated using um, also some juke cord. I was kind of flying by the seat of my pants, <laughs> as I as I often do when I'm crafting. That's part of the fun of it to me. But um, I was I usually um, figure things out as I go along. Even though I have a general plan at the onset, I I do sometimes have to um, alter my plans a bit as I uh, continue with the project. Now these shells have. Each of the seashells, each of these sea urchin shells, have a small hole in the top and a bit larger hole in the bottom. Now I am here um, applying a one and a half inch wood round to the larger hole on the bottom of this sea urchin shell. Now I'm going to tell you now, uh, speaking of, of flying by the seat of your pants, I decided that I should have waited to apply this particular wood round until later um, because I needed to have this open to fill this with sand. So I'm going to um, advise you to wait on applying that one and a half inch wood round on the larger hole until a bit later. But you can go ahead and apply the one inch wood round on the top. Now the function of this wood round, it's going to be a resting place for the pillar candle when it's inserted into the top sea urchin shell. I wanted to, didn't want to sacrifice more length of the pillar candle by having it penetrate the second sea urchin shell, if that makes sense. So that little wood round is going to stop it once it goes through the top uh, shell. 
All right, so now we are going to、uh, put the two shells together, and you want to put a generous amount of hot glue. This holds those shells very well together, and I kind of、um, move it around a little bit to get the best fit because those sea urchin shells have little nubs on them, and、uh, you need to kind of、uh, move them around a bit to get the best placement. You want them to be,、um, you want that top. A、sea urchin shell to be as level as possible. And now that will be adhered very well and stable with just by using hot glue. And you see that pillar candle will now stop.、Um, once it's inserted into that top shell by that little.、Um, Wood round, and here I'm showing you the box of sea urchin shells that I got when I ordered on Amazon. They're all the same: the larger hole in the bottom, a little bit smaller hole on the top. I also ordered this bag of little tiny, I think they call them conch shells. They're super, super pretty. They have so much detail in them; you can't see them. There, but when you have them in your hand, you could see the most amazing detail in the shells. So I am going to be placing those、um, around the opening of that top hole where that pillar candle is going to be inserted. Now I'm going to apply those with hot glue, and I'm going to situate them around that hole. So that they don't encroach on the hole, because you're going to have to be certain that your pillar candle can still fit in there once you have your shells on. So intermittently, I、uh, stuck my pillar candle down in there to be sure I was、um, keeping the size open that I needed to、um, put that candle in there. So you're going to、uh, cover the perimeter of that hole, and there you have it. Try not to position your shells so that the, it ends up looking kind of like thorns, if you will.、Uh, you want to kind of situate them, pointing different directions. You know, vary your、uh, placement. Now I'm also going to be applying those around the area of the seam and.、Um, This just looks really, really beautiful, and it gives such a finished look to this piece. So you just hot glue those as well, and your pillar candle will be inserted in there. And there you have、um, those two pieces、um, put together, and they look just beautiful. I love the top one is a little bit more of a taupe color. And the bottom one is a little bit more of a creamy ivory, and I love that color variance on this piece. Now here's your larger hole, and I did as I said、uh, before. I had to pry off that wood piece that I put on there because I totally had forgotten at the time I needed to、uh, fill this uh, bottom. Uh, sea urchin shell with sand, and this is going to serve an important function. It's going to create a lot of stability for that、um, candle holder. It's going to add some weight to it and just create、um, a very、um, functional stability. So once I have all that sand in there, I'm going to reapply that wood round. And I want a nice seal on that because, of course, we don't want our sand escaping all over our tablecloth. So you're going to put a generous amount of glue and position that wood round on there and test it out. Make sure that you have a complete seal once you、uh, have that wood round on there and the glue is dried. If you need to apply a little bit more of a seal around that wood round, just to make sure that you don't have any sand escaping once you turn it over.
I'm just cleaning up my glue a little bit there. And now I'm going to turn it over and I am also going to put some sand in the top sea urchin shell. This will provide even more stability for the piece, but it also um, provides a stab stable place for the candle as well. So I'm going to go ahead, use my funnel again. I'm going to fill that up about two thirds full. You have to leave room for the pillar candle, of course. And I'm going to take that candle and I kind of I'm going to add a little bit more there. I'm just going to kind of screwdriver the candle down into the sand. So not only will this provide a nice weight for the piece, but it also will provide even more stability for that uh, pillar candle. And there you have it, such an easy piece. It'd be beautiful to make two or even four for a tablescape. Very easy and quick project. And here we have the finished candle holder. If you like what you see on my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave your comments. And until next time, you all take care.